Hey guys, Jason here. I'm going to let you know on a little secret. I'm a big nerd. And I wear that badge pretty proudly, and everybody teases me about it. You know, usually pretty in a friendly way, but they tease me about it just the same. And because I get, I get really enthusiastic and I get a little obsessive when I look at new media technologies and new storytelling vehicles and, and the way that our experiences and our interactions with the brands and the stories and the story worlds in which that we really enjoy deepens with this blending of original content from the eye of the original creator and us as participants. And that's really what the heart of transmedia is. Transmedia is this kind of fancy intellectual term um, for using multiple story platforms, multiple platforms to tell, to, to stitch together a narrative. It's using things like audio and video and video storytelling and live events and micro sites and apps that all stitch together to provide a cohesive narrative and a deep user experience for a fan. And so it comes from kind of from an entertainment world, you know, kind of look. Um, and Hollywood's always kind of looked at transmedia as a way to package each episode or each piece separately and pack it onto a different audience. So the end result of that is a really successful brand franchise. But I want to look at uh, transmedia in a completely different and maybe a, a slightly unique way. And I've looked at it from the perspective of user-generated content. Because for me, that's the most exciting thing about transmedia, particularly when you look at things like fan fiction. But let's look at it from a traditional business perspective. A consumer brand out in LA called Beta Brand. Really, really cool, hip clothing company. And they've done some really interesting things because they're not just selling clothing. They're also made it possible for uh, people like you and I who have ideas about new clothing lines and new products to pitch that to Beta Brand. And then they'll turn it out into a kind of crowdsourced, crowdfunded arena. And people vote on it with their dollars to kind of be early funders of the product. And if, it, if any one product hits an, a certain number of pre-sales, then Beta Brand says, we will now move on to prototype it and it will be available for sale. Pretty fascinating way of co-creating content and co-creating product with the participation of people who are all going to buy your stuff anyhow. It's pretty neat. But let's take it a step further. So Beta Brand also does this really neat um, channel called their Model Citizen. And what they've done with Model Citizen is they've made it possible for people like you and I to upload photos of ourselves, either um, interstaced with a, a, an overlay of the Beta Brand logo or wearing our best Beta Brand gear and saying, we really love this stuff. And the trade-off for uploading that photo as a discount, but it's also an opportunity to appear as a model on their site for a product. And it's really, really neat because I think it plays to a couple of things. It plays to ego and it plays to everybody wanting their moment in the sun. But beyond that, it's about co-creating an experience and co-creating content with the people who are ultimately going to buy your things. So think about that, and because I, I know it's going to be something that we, I'm certainly going to be paying very, very close attention to over the next several months and even years when I start looking at the way content is created. So I'll leave you with that. Cheers.